you doing, my fellow Limitless, sexy, sexy, saucy HBICs? How you doing on this lovely morning, afternoon, and evening? How are you? Um, I have fake tanner all over me, so I'm looking a little filthy. <laughs> the guide color is all over my face. I have bed head. I'm literally in my pajamas still. Um, but I got a really good question this morning, and um, because I have coaching calls right up until the moment I got to get in the shower, to get on the road, to get up to SPs, um, I wanted to make a quick video of it. Plus, I, I, I'm really trying hard of getting videos up every day. Maybe not on Saturday and Sundays as much, because I'm with SP. Unless he has to work, that's the only reason why I would have time to get the videos up. And we should be in, actually, like, Wi-Fi service area starting now but regardless you don't care about that uh if you need help figuring out what's going on between you and your manifestation please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com all of my coaching options are in the drop box below they're in the screens it just went by um uh, i have tiktok i have instagram if you are new here how you doing i'm kimberly how you doing? I would love for you to subscribe and come back and see me. I would also love very much if you would give me a like for Christmas. I would appreciate it. Uh, likes get my videos out there. And like I said a million times already, I didn't know that. <laughs> I was kind of ignorant to the ins and outs of what certain things meant. I had heard other YouTubers asking for people to, you know, subscribe and like. And I just never asked because it felt weird asking for you to subscribe. But... Um, that's part of my personality and I'm trying to get better at being okay with those things, right? With my self-concept. Um, but I had no idea that the likes meant the video will get in the algorithm and get out there and help people. And there's got to be other people who have the potential to be sexy, sassy, saucy, HBICs and join our community. So I would appreciate a like and it's free. Okay. Then you never have to see the video again if you don't feel like it, but maybe a like. Anyway. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm hideous looking uh, on top of my normal hideous. But this question was so really good. Now, of course, I'm not, it's not in my face. I don't have it to read. But it was something along the lines of, and it was asked by, I don't think he'll care if I say with John M. He's one of our SPs calling. This is hours later. I'm still in my pajamas. My hair's still on top of my head. Uh, you know, shit happened. But, I, all right, so I want to answer this. This was asked on one of my, I think it was yesterday's video. Um, can things be as simple as having limiting beliefs because you believe that you have them? Can getting rid of deep beliefs be as simple as intending or declaring that you no longer have them? Yes. Yes, it can. And I thought that this was a brilliant question because I'm sure a lot of you feel that way, that it can't be as, as easy as getting rid of all my old shitty limiting beliefs by just saying I'm my new person. It, it's just not that simple. I know some of you think that way. I know you do. And I know it because I know there are coaches out there who tell you that it's not, that's not possible. That's just not possible. Yes, it fucking is. Yes, it is. And here's why. First of all, let me explain why they think that, that it's not possible. It's because they're still stuck in a logical, literal thinking of 3D mindsets, 3D psychology mindsets, 3D basic bitch medicine mindsets, 3D basic bitch science mindsets. All 3D, all physical world, physical body, 3D limiting, literal, logical mindsets. They're stuck there. And this is why I say in my videos all the time, don't close your box to the limits of science and the outside world. Open up the box. Allow yourself to think bigger. We have so much more power up here than we are aware. And just because science, medicine, psychology say that we have these limits, you're accepting those limits and that's why it will be true in your world but when you decide no I'm not limited I'm limitless I can do anything I can change my mind on a dime and you keep telling yourself because it's the law of assumption and you begin to believe and assume that it is easy to just become a new version due to the infinite states you can do it now I'm going to give you an example so, because we are always fluctuating through states moment by moment, 
most of the time we do return to the same most natural, you know, the state you're used to. We most likely, especially in our beginning times of manifestation, when you're really, really new, you tend to fall back to the old, you know, I like to call it the victim state, the state where you think are, things are happening to you. But as you progress on your journey, you're, you know, utilizing your manifestation games, whatever they may be, you know, affirming, visualizing, scripting, whatever, you begin to change. And what's happening is they're actually shifting your state, okay? But you're going to get to a place where you're, you're trusting and believing in manifestation. It's going to, if you don't believe it now and you don't trust it now, I understand I didn't either in my beginning. I didn't either, but I do now, Okay. You're going to get to the place where you just know what works. You know it's the truth. You know that's truly what we're doing is we are manifesting everything from without or from within to without at all times. And because we're fluctuating through states all the time, you have choice moment by moment to decide what state you're in, which means what reality you are in. Now, will you have a moment where um, an old shitty thought comes up? Okay. In 3D logical literal land, a uh, literal logical coach would say, that's because you didn't get rid of the belief. It's still there. You need to work on it. We got to work on your self concept a little more. Keeps you on the cycle. But in truth, what happened is you went back to an old state. You went back to an old state. And when you go back to an old state, your old beliefs and assumptions are there waiting with bells on. But you have the ability to say, yeah, no, I don't like this. I don't want to be this version of myself. I am this version now, whatever that may be to you. This, which is why I say, who are you being? You decide you're this new version of yourself. You allow yourself to feel it or embody it. And guess what happens? You shift your state and you go to a state where those old, shitty, limited beliefs no longer belong to you because in the next state or whatever state you're going to, it's all new beliefs and assumptions. Could they be similar to the previous state? Sure. There's infinite fucking states. There's infinite states. But you have choice moment by moment to be who you want to be and to have and experience anything you want. Anything. Absolutely anything. And when old, fearful, negative thoughts are coming up and you're feeling a certain type of way when they do, you've just gone to an older state. You've gone to an old, shittier state. It's all it is. And in that moment, so long as you don't start panicking and by force trying to get out of that state, you chill yourself out, you center yourself, calm yourself down, do a little breath work, meditate, do whatever you got to do, chill yourself out. You can walk your way back to a more pleasurable say, and guess what? Your entire perception is going to change. Why? Because all those shitty beliefs stayed in that old shitty state, and you've become your new version. Yes, you bet your sweet ass it can be just as easy as that. And yes, it is because you believe that you have all these deep-seated internal beliefs that you've got to heal and fix and blah, blah, pukey, blah, forever be stuck on a shit cycle if you believe it and you think that's what you need to do is fix all that shit in order to manifest, that's that's exactly what your 3D world will give you as truth because it's your belief. And it's the law of assumption. What you assume to be true will be true. Listen to me. I know it's not the most popular opinion. I know it's not. I know it's not. But it's because this opinion doesn't make as much money. This opinion doesn't require courses and shit to buy. Do you see what I'm saying? That's why it's not the popular opinion because it sounds too good to be true. It sounds too easy. I know it does. I know it does, but I know from experience. I know from personal experience. I know the life I'm living. I know the relationship I'm currently in and I know how I got that relationship is because I dropped that freaking limited thinking. I dropped it. And I started deciding, I am who I want to be. This is the new me. And I don't have to be afraid anymore of being abandoned. I don't have to be afraid of nothing anymore because I'm determined to be this new me. And my world changed. And so can yours. 
Don't take on the limited shit from me. I'm riled up today because I'm in a good mood. Don't you take on the limited beliefs of others. You are a limitless being and you can change your life moment by moment. Decide you are who you want to be now and decide it every damn day. And if you fall out and you fall back to a shittier state, it's okay. We can get you back there. But you have the power of choice moment by moment to live your absolute dreams. I'm not selling you something. I'm not telling you to buy my course so you can live my desired life. I'm telling you, you can do it moment by moment with your own mind. And you can be riding the high of a joyous, fulfilling relationship or whatever it is you want to fucking experience. You can have it too by deciding you are that person now. And on that note, I'll see you maybe tomorrow. If not, probably Sunday. Love you all. Have a wonderful weekend.